really guess why these things are removed. But there's, there, you know, there's got to be reasons for it, but <coughs> to enlighten ourselves, to try to explore that, as we're going to look at in a second, that, that obviously God uses his angels in a mighty powerful way. I think one of the things that came out from Tansley was there was sort of this worry that <coughs> putting angels higher than the spirit, putting angels... No, of course not. It's all part of, it's all part of one understanding. It's, education is knowledge. Knowledge is... Uh, people don't like the word power. But, you know, <coughs> it's, it's a broader understanding, isn't it, of how wonderful God is uh, and understanding... Uh, just the creator um, and you know there was this sort of where do angels have higher angels above and this text that sort of indicate that angels are higher than humans and then angels are lower than humans does it matter i'm not sure that it matters really just that angels are there uh, angels are there to minister to uh, message to serve their god's servants uh, to be there at times of need and trouble for us um, and when we move on, that Lucifer was one of them. Mm -hmm. And therefore, if these are um, powerful beings in terms of giving good, then actually be mindful uh, of one that has fallen mm -hmm. and the damage that that could do also. Mm -hmm. uh, and don't diminish that, mm -hmm. I think. Because, I mean, we're not to be distracted um, and, and think that God couldn't do all this without angels. Because we know that God appeared to Moses directly with a burning bush and spoke directly. But as we look now at some of the other passages, we know that God didn't, didn't appear directly to Mary, but he, but he could have done. There's no reason why he couldn't. But he didn't decide to, send, to go himself, he decided to send an angel. And yet that was probably the most important message as a Christian salvation that we that they needed to be sent. Mm -hmm. But he didn't do it himself, he sent an angel. So we look at some of the scriptures now that where God appears to. Well, I've kept to the D so I'm passing back the fucking cake. Well, I mean these are just some and there's there's plenty more, but these are just some of the examples and they're on the sheet for you to go away, of where God has sent angels to intercede. For him. Uh, there's a million more ways in which God has sent the Holy Spirit to intercede for him. There's there's even more where God has sent Jesus to intercede for him. Mm -hmm. So I think it's the the time and the situation that is needed, you know. Um, and there's probably a very good example really. I mean we're reading a fantastic book at the moment by R.T. Kendall um, about the Holy Spirit and about that you need to be at the right place to be able to receive and God doesn't do anything until you're and we talked a couple of days ago about being refined uh, and he doesn't move you to that place until you're ready and I often wonder whether um, he uses angels as a way when you're not quite ready for something else mm. uh, and an angel is, is you know I'm sure I could just do this I just sort of visualize God sitting there and going right okay not really listening. Well, that's quite a tricky message. So, what have I got? What's my tools in my toolbox? So, I'll send an angel off you go. You go over there. Spirit, Holy Spirit, right. You're going there. And, you know, you just sort of get this idea of um, this is, we're all part of a team, you know. <laughs> team God, what are we going to use now to sort of, uh, to sort of get my message across? That one there, he's not listening at all. What are we going to use there? Right, wind. <laughs> um, you know. Uh, fire out, right, you're going down. Um, still small voice, you go there. Um, you, you sort of get that impression, don't you, with it? There's all these ways. And, and we, as the receiver, often says, do you know, God's been knocking on my door. I've had all these people trying to I finally, I finally heard, I finally now recognise I need to, you know, you look back and you think all the ways that people have been such and such said and such and such said this. And you think all the way, God's probably sitting there thinking, finally, finally. Uh, yeah. Um, right. So 